Amazing, guys. We could have found the first real evidence of the most mysterious substance in existence. It looks like, guys, scientists found the invisible. We're now able to see what has always been invisible, but it holds galaxies together. Guys, this is highly interesting. We've been talking about interstellar objects slash comate slash spaceship slash whatever it is, 3i Atlas, a lot. And there's space breaking news, so to speak, shocking news about 3i Atlas. Um, I'll put that for you in the end screen of this video. So it might be interesting what 3i Atlas has been moving through and still is moving through, guys, because highly, highly interesting. So imagine this, we may have just seen the invisible, something no human has ever seen before, something that makes up most of the universe, and that's why it is so important, but we have been completely blind to it, so to speak. Today, I want to lift the curtain of dark matter. What is dark matter, guy? guys? A new study might be the first real glimpse of it. That's why this is so highly interesting. Because this could change everything, guys. So stay with me. It's really, really interesting. And this is probably a video that doesn't cause any editing work for me because I don't need to find background pictures of this dark matter for you to show you. I can just have a dark screen, right? Because it's invisible. No, but I can show you something. They have made it visible. So I will show it to you because dark matter per se is basically defined as stuff that we cannot see. It gives off no light. It reflects no light. You cannot touch it. You cannot smell it. You simply cannot detect it with normal tools. But we know that it is there. And how do we know? Because dark matter has gravity. A lot of it. So much gravity, guys. Imagine this, that it holds entire galaxies together. Without dark matter, galaxies would fly apart like sparks. So this is such an important tool. This is the most important thing, probably, in the universe. Think of dark matter like a cosmic glue. We don't see the glue, but we see definitely what the glue holds together. For about 100 years, we have known that it exists, but we have never seen it until maybe now. And that's why I'm telling you about it, because I know that you, I'm pretty sure you're interested in that. And if you are, hype this video, give it an early like, guys, to support my channel. Thank you so much. I'm going to tell you now what the scientists found. So a new study looked at 15 years of data from NASA's Fermi Gunner Ray Space Telescope. Gamma rays are the most powerful form of light. And they come from extreme events, explosions, black holes, um, particle collisions. And now, maybe also from dark matter, the stuff that we don't see. And the stuff that maybe we see now. There's one scientist, Professor Tomonori Totani from the University of Tokyo. He studied the faint gamma rays around the Milky Way. And he found something strange where he was thinking, what is this? So he looked further into this because he found something that should not be there. It was a huge halo around our galaxy, a glow of high energy light. That halo stretches 100 degrees across the sky. That is enormous. And that glow peaks at 20 billion electrovolts. That number is important, very important, because that is exactly the energy that scientists expect 
when dark matter particles destroy each other. Yeah, the stuff that we don't see is fighting with each other. And this process is called, sounds drastic, annihilation. So how can we capture this with our minds? Two dark matter particles collide and then they vanish. And they release gamma rays while they do that. And the glow that the scientists saw looks exactly like that. Why does this matter? Because until now, dark matter was only detectable through gravity. We only saw how it pulled on stars and galaxies. This now would be the first time that we see the radiation from dark matter itself. Not the gravity, not indirect clues, but a signal, a real glow in the sky that is visible. If that is true, this is one of the biggest discoveries in physics, guys. This is really basically like discovering a new continent, probably bigger, finding or like finding a new force of nature. How should dark matter even look? So the Milky Way should be surrounded by a halo of dark matter Thick in the center, thinner as you move outward, shaped like a smooth round cloud. And guess what? The gamma ray halo in the study looks exactly like that. It's not random, it's not messy, it's not chaotic. It looks like the classic, the scientists call it NFW profile. That's the model that scientists use to describe how dark matter fills galaxies. The shape fits. The brightness fits, even the energy fits. It's like matching a fingerprint. That, that's what it is. So what could dark matter be made of? One strong idea is the WIMP, the WIMP, a weakly interacting massive particle. Simple version. A WIMP is a heavy particle that barely interacts with anything. It goes through you. It goes through Earth. It goes through everything. Doesn't interact. Doesn't get stuck. Doesn't get changed. But when two wimps collide, boom, annihilate. And that's when they produce the gamma rays. The study suggests the dark matter particle has a mass between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8 TeV, that is 500 to 850 times heavier than a proton. This is exactly the range many physicists predicted for decades. This is why the whole science community is so excited and it fits too perfectly to ignore kind of like the 13 anomalies that I have described of 3i atlas and the last one, the 13th anomaly, that it really changed its course in perihelion when it was hiding behind the sun, not visible from Earth. It changed the course towards Jupiter and in a way that it exactly meets Jupiter's circle where it could stay without needing much energy. Could this dark matter be something else? Scientists are careful. This is brand new, guys. They always ask, could this be something normal? Pulsars, supernova leftovers, cosmic rays, instrumental errors. Totani has checked all of that. He has looked into this. He removed known sources. He removed the bright galactic plane. He removed cosmic rays. He removed the giant Fermi bubbles and the signal was still there. Even, and that's what why everyone's hopeful, even with conservative estimates, even with strict filtering, this makes it extremely hard to explain away. So what's next? We need other teams that also confirm it. This science needs backup. They will look at other places that are filled with dark matter like dwarf galaxies.
Sounds cute, right? Dwarf galaxies. These little galaxies have tons of dark matter and almost no other light sources. And that's good because then you can really say, okay, if there is something visible, can't be something else. So if the same 20 GeV glow appears there, it's basically game over. Dark matter is confirmed, 100%. Use new, use new telescopes like the CTA and the Amigo X. They are much more sensitive, much sharper images. They will test this hard. Another interesting thing is, which um, let's be careful, if dark matter really weighs 0.5 to 0.8 TeV, we might be able to even create it on Earth. The Large Hadron Collider or its successor might produce the same signal. So imagine to detect the universe missing matter right here on Earth. Sounds a bit scary, I have to say, right? But why is this discovery changing the universe? If this halo that the Japanese scientists sees is really coming from dark matter, guys, then we finally, what we know what most of the universe is made of. We still don't know where it's coming from, but we know what it's made of. We may extend the standard model of physics even. We can understand how galaxies formed. We can link astrophysics to particle physics. And we take one step closer to understanding the structure of our reality. Dark matter shapes the universe. We know that. It decides where stars form, where galaxies grow, where planets appear. If we understand dark matter, guys, we understand the blueprint of the cosmos. That light that the scientists saw is a clue left by the universe. We just need to interpret it. It's been waiting for over 100 years for us to notice, to be technically advanced enough to see it. Maybe this is it. The first real evidence of the most mysterious substance in existence. The unseen skeleton of the universe. And if this signal holds up, guys, history will remember this moment. That's why I'm telling you about this. The moment, well, let's get a little bit more philosophical. The moment when humanity finally looked into the dark and saw something looking back. I hope you like this video. Check out 3 Eye Atlas, guys. I promise you, it'll give you shivers down your spine. I hope I see you in a second. If you're new here, subscribe. I would love to see you again. Stay safe, guys, and look up here.